because to tell you the truth with all these paint colors in me I don't think I can do too much I'm wondering if I'll bit off more than I can chew here Get at the angles I'm used to getting at. Different hand. Okay. Getting very close to where I wanted the ground here, so I can really think about the way I'm doing this. Whew. Very difficult.
being able to get the smoothness I was hoping for out of this. But as is in a lot of things in life, you got to figure out the best way to get it done. Maybe you got to step outside of what you were going to do and do something different. So I'll keep on doing this. And if it doesn't work out the way I want it, I'm going to have to do something about this. So the problem is, is when you do a canvas this size, uh, and with the way that I put the paint on here, you can't just come back over it and paint a different painting if you don't like your results, because the impasto that it creates will uh, keep you from being able to do that. Right. If I need to, I'll come back smoothly with my hand if I have to. something on my blade it keeps catching there it is what I have is I have something that dried on my blade right here and I couldn't see it because of the paint. So I've got to shave that off of there before I can go any further. Just grab you some straight edge razors, clean up your knife. Now, things will go a little smoother. Got that off the bottom of my knife. So here we go.
<laughs> hey, when you got one arm to do this with, you got to come up with something sometimes. All right, so got that better looking. Let's move on. Uh, let's make this a. Um, we're gonna make this a winter scene. And. Uh, You can have, still have a lot of bright colors in the winter. I'm using a cerulean blue at this point because if I use the darker blues, it just muddies it up too much right now. I'll work those into the cerulean. If you look, it'll give it that great contrast even though it's a very light blue because once it mixes with that red you got a good purple those edges problem because you don't want to you don't want to hold on to your knife too hard and I'm used to doing it with my left hand I mean my right hand so I can't get the uh, grip correct that's okay we'll figure out things to work around other things that's Part of the fun of art is when things don't go right. And then you have to improvise. That's where your creativity really comes into to play. Getting a really good mixture over here. Really like this. worry about the edge too much. Um, when I finish the painting I'll come around and fix those. Ooh, gives it that really nice look there. And this is where you get into Mixing your colors on the canvas. You keep that going around like that. It's not pretty good. Um, I don't think I will bring in the Persian blue on this sky itself because I, I want that to help with the reflection in the water that I'm going to have. And no, I'm not working from a photograph. Uh, just creating something. If I don't feel it, I will abandon it. I have taken canvases and and burned them because I did not like it. I've thrown them away. I painted over them. Maybe that's a little extreme. But I'm not gonna put out what I'm not happy with. Also, as I do this, I Pay attention to the texture itself because it's part of it. If I get it too smooth, it loses that excitement of touch. People want to touch my paintings. And um, a lot of times if I'm doing a festival, 
and it's an acrylic painting, I will actually encourage the parents to let the kids touch it. You know, whatever excites them to get them interested in artists. Remember, art is creation. Creation is godly. When we can understand why we create, what it's, the feeling is when we do create, the understanding of that is like somehow understanding God or whoever your supreme being is that you look up to. This far right side has got to be the most difficult thing I've ever had to do painting wise. Oh. Good thing is the way that I'm doing this right now, I don't have to clean a lot of my knife because using it to mix. Okay. I'm going to bring in some more of this. Not some more. This hasn't been introduced. Go ahead and take another painkiller here in a minute. Don't worry about the texture of this yet because I'm trying to fill in the, get rid of that whiteness. So I wanted to add some of this blue to the other blues. <coughs> um, I wanted to bring some cobalt blue over here. So I didn't clean off my knife and just simply ran it back over there. trying to keep my arms straight as I do this. Alright. Add in some Algerian red here. Just because I want more of a purplish effect. So bright blue. All
Well, this is something new. <coughs> I've uh, done this smearing effect before with my hands, but uh, not so much in a oil painting as I do acrylic. Um, but I've, what I've done is I've worked it where it's too dark for my liking. Need to lighten this up. I'm doing is just lighten it up a little bit. Start having fun.
this point, I've gotten my background oh, of the sky, the sunset type of thing going on. Anyway, okay. I think I'm okay with this at the stopping point. Um, I'm not going to let this dry. I uh, will come back in just a few minutes and, and uh, start on this again. I just uh, need a little break. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got our background that I'm going to have bursting through this forest here in a little bit. And uh, I'm debating on whether or not to put some snow banks here. And uh, well, we'll figure out where it takes us here in just a little bit. So this is going to be a stopping point. We'll pick it back up later.